mean, domestic matrimonial property for Indonesians, um, issues surrounding divorce and succession. So the first case study, we have an Indonesian couple. You can see um, in the middle, Rudy, who's married to uh, Katrina. They're Indonesian citizens. The domicile is Indonesia and they're living in Indonesia. So before we move on, um, Zach, since we, we got a very diverse audience today with many guests from uh, a common law background and many guests with a um, legal background. Uh, can you briefly explain the child? I think, Joe, sorry, you broke up, but I think what you're asking is in terms of domicile and how, how that works. So from, from a domicile perspective, um, it, it's really a common law uh, approach to classifying the status of individuals. So domicile is a, a rather nebulous little project or, or topic because it actually comprises uh, many different aspects. Uh, one of which is you, you will get a domicile of, if you're from a common law jurisdiction, you'll generally have a, a domicile of origin, which is usually your parent. So your, your father, if your parents were married, your mother, if they if were unmarried. And then later on, you'll have a domicile effectively of dependency as you grow up. And once you reach majority, you're then able to have choices as to uh, different jurisdictions in which you can then take on a domicile of choice. The key thing is you always have a domicile, one single domicile throughout your life. And the challenge with domicile of choice, which is generally the most difficult, is uh, showing enough connecting factors to a jurisdiction to justify having a domicile there for common law systems. Many of the legal uh, sort of constructs around succession, around matrimonial regimes, et cetera, deal with domicile. And so domicile as a concept tends to be quite a, um, an important topic to understand when you're looking at succession law particularly and uh, it really is down to the connecting factors, your subjective intention, and the surrounding circumstances showing a firm intention to remain in a jurisdiction permanently. And that's generally what domicile tends to mean. Okay, thanks, Zach. Um, <clears throat> let's continue with the, uh, the first case. Um, this one final comment, uh, Rudy and Katrina have one son, Kevin, who is uh, an Indonesian citizen. If you show the next slide, uh, Zach. <clears throat> Kevin is Indonesian citizen, Singapore PR, and his domicile is in Singapore. Um, there's one daughter, Katrina, who is in the US. You see all the um, assets of the couple in Hong Kong, in the US, and the, the BVI. 